another very neat LED cob light from an independent pound shop. And I quite like the independent pound shops because it adds more variety into the mix when it's not just Poundland or One Below, formerly Pound World. So this is a classic uh, little cob light. It's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 LEDs in it. Uh, and they're most likely sort of the, the flip chip. And it's got the usual modes. I'll just point it down the way for this because it's going to be dazzling otherwise. It's got a high mode, low mode, and I'll warn you in advance, there's going to be some flashing just briefly. Strobe mode. Okay. That's the three main modes. It does, however, have the fourth mode. If you hold the button in and you hold it in for a good few seconds, it goes into SOS mode where it does this uh, three dots, three dashes, three dots, and it repeats that cycle. It has a magnet in the back and, uh, well, let's open it. Oh, it takes a uh, AAA cells. Let me show you what's inside. The back unclips to reveal the AAA cells. I'm not a huge fan of lights that this, like this that take the AAA cells because I'd rather they try to fit in double A's, but in this instance, they're not really aiming for anything other than just a fairly small light. Let us get this open. I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the aluminium backing of the cob and it seems to go down beyond the button. I wonder if this is another one with all the circuitry integrated into the one package. How does this unclip? Let's slip this in and slide it up the side. Oh, stabby stabby. There's one clip. Let's try not to mash my fingers in the process. I can't help feeling that I should maybe have started down at the base here. Is there one down the bottom of here? It does look like there's a wee groove. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. They have got one of the, this is like the Poundland light that had the, the head torch that had the chip integrated in the same cob. Right, tell you what. I want to get down as close to this as possible, so I'll just pause and I shall adjust things. Bit of a zoom up, and I have to say the circuitry is pretty much identical to the Poundland head torch I was looking at recently that had the same sort of arrangement. We've got the negative coming on to the, uh, this end of the circuit board, and that runs along the bottom of the circuit board and comes up through the resistor. So this 1.5 ohm resistor, that's 1R5, 1.5 ohm is actually in series of the whole circuit. So the voltage across this chip will drop down when this is turned on. It's got the usual arrangement. The button is just going straight to the input in the chip and the chip itself is actually switching the negative to the LEDs, which basically comes off the chip and goes along a bus bar along all the LEDs and the uh, positive connection here doesn't just supply the chip, but it then actually goes along a bus bar along the LEDs to feed the positive side of them. And these are probably the little flip chip LEDs just mounted between those set of bus bars. And that's it. Really not much else to say. The button is identical to the other one. That's sort of car remote control type button, the little gold dimple button on top. Um, and that's it. The chip number, did I mention that? 6066A. Not really sure. What that's like be if that's a standard chip number or not. I may take a wee look for that and see if I can find a data sheet, but it's pretty much going to be uh, one of the standard YX type chips or a clone of that uses the same pinout. But there we go. It's a nice approach to this. And this uh, cob is just basically loose. It just sits into a slot here, a little channel in the plastic for that. So it's quite a nice little light. It's very effective and it's very bright.